Welcome to this PPP loan forgiveness, how to calculate wage reduction video. My name is Matt Holtquist with the Holtquist firm and the QuickBooks University. So the PPP loan forgiveness application really has three major parts. Uh, the first one is making sure you're spending your, your loan proceeds on the right things. All right. And that is in the other video and the download template that I did. Uh, the second part is the full-time equivalents and making sure that you maintain headcount. I've got a video and a template for that as well. And then this third piece is the reduction in pay for employees. All right. And this is probably the toughest calculation. There's a lot going on and a lot of comparisons and, you know, different formulas and things like that that you got to go through. So what I did was set up this template to help you easily calculate whether your employees uh, meet the test, the wage reduction test, and if they don't calculate how much of the reduction in forgiveness that you're going to have to put on your PPP loan forgiveness application. Okay, so be sure to watch this video all the way through because I want to go through some very, very important things so that you know how to use this template. So first things first, I've got a link down in the description and in the first comment that is pinned. Click the link. It will download the template. Uh, it's an Excel file and it'll go to your taskbar and you can open it there and start using it. Okay. First things first, just like all my other templates, you can hover, hover over the red triangles uh, like right here. So if I go to this one, uh, I've got descriptions, instructions in each of these uh, red triangles, okay? So if you have a question, hopefully, uh, typically these are going to answer those questions. All right, so all the existing data in the yellow cells, just in the yellow cells, is example information, and you can delete it, okay? So all this information, delete it. Now, formula cells that are not yellow do not delete. It will completely mess up the entire template, okay? Then, last one, only enter data in the yellow highlighted cells. All right, okay, pretty straightforward. You're gonna see these yellow highlighted cells and you wanna just put the information in there that it asked for. Okay, now broad overview of this template. I've got this first section up here is table A just for hourly employees. All right, and then if you scroll down, you're gonna see table B for salaried employees. It's essentially the same test, a little bit different calculations. Uh, so I wanted to put them on two separate tables. So you're gonna break your employees down between hourly and salary. All right, so what you wanna do in this is you're gonna first do step one, this 25% reduction test. So I've got step one, step two, and then if you scroll over here, I've got step three, and these all correspond to the instructions in the PPP loan forgiveness application. They've got a step one, step two, and step three. So each of these areas goes through the calculation. Okay. So first one, step one, 25% reduction test. All right. This is basically a test to make sure that uh, if their earnings went down by more than 25%, uh, does reduction apply to this employee? Okay, so you can see here I've got some information input. So total earnings during the covered period, that's going to be your eight-week period. Hours worked during the covered period. And what it's doing for hourly employees is coming up with an average hourly wage during the covered period. Then what it's doing, it's comparing that to January 1st through March 31st and coming up with an average hourly wage. And then it's calculating the percentage. Okay, and this will tell you over here uh, automatically, does reduction apply to this employee? Yes or no. All right, and you'll see if it's 75% and above or above, it's going to say no. And if it's 75% or, or below 75%, it's going to say yes. All right, so if it's yes, this instruction box will tell you go to step two. So over here, you're going to enter hourly wage as of February 15th, 2020. And then the earnings between 2.15 and 4.26, the hours between 2.15 and 4.26, average hourly wage, wage, all right? And then over here, this is going to tell you uh, what, what do you do next, okay? So it's going to automatically fill these in to say, okay, depending on the result here for the average hourly uh, rate, proceed to step three. Okay, and this is step three reduction calculation. 
and step three will automatically calculate. So you can see there are no yellow highlighted cells over here. Or fill in column P. And the reason is because there's a safe harbor. If you, do res if you restore their hourly wage uh, back to uh, pre-COVID levels, so to speak, uh, then you meet the safe harbor and you do not have any reduction. But if you do not meet the safe harbor, then you do have a reduction. Okay. All right. So again, this is set up to automatically, all automatically calculate for the amount of reduction. Now, what I highly, highly, highly recommend is that as you are going through this spreadsheet and calculation, double check the calculations. And the reason I say that is I have gone through, I have tested it, I have worked at multiple angles. Uh, but like with anything in Excel, when you're dealing with some pretty complex calculations, all right, you can see some of these formulas up here. Uh, you know, sometimes errors do happen. So before you know, you go and you just fill in your application, just double check the numbers. Everything should be correct, but just to be safe and just to be conservative, double check the calculations to make sure. Okay. All right. So that's the hourly employees. And then it's really the same um, calculation essentially, except for salaried employees down here. Uh, and instead of looking at hours and hourly rates, it's looking at what your salary was. All right. So it's calculating average annual salary, total earnings. Okay. And does reduction apply to this employee? Yes or no. And then it's got the safe Harbor, same proceed to step three, fill in column N safe Harbor met. No. Okay. And then it's going to automatically calculate the reduction in forgiveness. Okay. So this column right here, and I have it up here in the description, uh, this is what is going to be entered for that corresponding employee on the PPP Schedule A Worksheet Table 1, Box 3. Okay? Now, hopefully, this makes this calculation a little bit easier. All right? So you've got uh, just, uh, you know, a little bit of information. You're going to have to pull payroll records to look at earnings and hours for the different time periods. All right? Now, that's essentially all you're going to have to do. And the salary, you're going to have to look at, you know, the total earnings during these time periods and their annual salary as of 215. Uh, so really the only thing that you're going to have to look at uh, are the salaries and the earnings and the hours for your employees. All right. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Again, the download link is in the description Click the link and it'll automatically download to your taskbar. There is no password on this, uh, so feel free to use it. But again, just make sure that you put information into the yellow highlighted cells and that's it. All right. Hope you guys enjoy and I look forward to hearing your feedback.